Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, back to do my 31 days of horror in October, day 4. Uh, today is going to be something a little bit different. This is, of course, my About Last Nightmare segment, which I do with my good friend Nick, the last shoegazer. Um, finally back to doing our regular About Last Nightmare, which is so much fun because I enjoy this so much. Last night, <clears throat> we watched The Garden. Now, The Garden is a 2006 movie, which runs approximately 92 minutes. Um, I've actually had this since last summer. And when I saw that Nick picked it up in one of his Freaky Finds video, I um, said, do you want to do this for an About Last Nightmare? And he agreed. Now, The Garden was directed by Don Michael Paul. Now, Don Michael Paul has done a couple of movies uh, recently, which is Tremors 5, Blood Bloodlines, and Tremors, A Cold Day in Hell. He was also an actor, uh, and the two things I could pretty much pick out that he was in was Rolling Vengeance, which... I've always wanted to see. I've heard great things about it. And he was also in The Island. He had a bit part in The Island with uh, Ewan McGregor and Scarlett Johansson, which I really enjoyed. Fantastic science fiction film, if you get a chance to see it. <clears throat> now, the three main characters in The Garden are, of course, um, Lance Hendrickson, who plays Ben Zachary, who we know from... Uh, Aliens, of course, Alien 3, uh, Pumpkinhead, Abominable. Um, he was also in Pumpkinhead, Ashes to Ashes, Scream 3, and one of my favorite vampire films of all time, as a matter of fact, um, Random Horror, Frost from Random Horror, just did a review on Near Dark, which is a fantastic film, fantastic. This also stars uh, Brian Wimmer and as David, and he's the father of the small boy in the film. He was so um, familiar to me, and when I looked him up, I was like, oh, okay, now I know where I've seen this dude. Uh, he was in Nightmare on Elm Street 2, um, Less Than Zero, and a newer film that I actually really enjoyed called Haunt. It's an IFC Midnight film, I do believe. And finally, rounding out the last of our three main characters is a young boy named Sam, who is played by Adam Taylor Gordon. <clears throat> he was um, in Cellular. He was in an episode of Weeds. We also have as a kind of like a small... Um, side character, uh, Sean Young, who of course is famous for uh, Blade Runner, Stripes, and uh, she was in Dune as well. Uh, this is a very interesting film. Of course, uh, Nick is going to take care of the synopsis and our overall rating. But this is a very... Um, it's a biblical horror film. And I've seen a few of these in my time. Um, I have a few called, I think one's called The Visitation with uh, Christina Ricci, which was kind of disappointing to me. I mean, it was okay. And there is another one with um, the guy who played in Terminator 2. I'm trying to think of his name. The kid. For some reason, I'm blanking on his name. But I think it was called... Actually, I cannot remember the name of it. it. Saved my life. But usually the biblical ones don't really impress me a whole lot. Uh, this was a little bit different. This was actually a um, a horror movie with kind of like biblical overtones. The imagery and the scenery is, in my opinion, top notch. It has a lot of atmosphere and, of course, the um, special effects are... Incredible in this one. 
So, um, you'll hear more about it, and I don't know exactly how Nick's going to um, do the synopsis on this one without, um, well, I guess it can be done without really spoiling the whole story, but it's a very interesting one. Uh, Nick and I both thought it was quite interesting. But definitely tune in to About Last Nightmare Part 2, where Nick's going to, of course, take care of the synopsis and our overall rating on the film, which we were pretty much spot on on this one. And that'll pretty much do it for my 31 Days of Horror in October, About Last Nightmare Part 1. Uh, some of my other fellow YouTubers, of course, that are participating in the 31 Days of October are You and Your Horror Movies. Last Venom 76, Jen's Reviews from the Grave, Lisa Loves, Dave Maggot, Rusting Willpower, Random Horror, The Horror Man, Horror Fan 34, and Movie Review Time. Andrew's Crypt, of course, is doing a 31 Days of Recommendations, which I think is really cool. Uh, Retro Horror is doing a massive 31 Days, which is the 100 Movie Challenge, which is really cool. And we have a series coming soon that I can't wait to see, called Three from the Grave, which is comprised of Lisa Loves, Movie Massacre, and Strange Monkey. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time.